Chinese sci-fi blockbuster The Wandering Earth 2 has been released around the world. In this movie, there is a vertical takeoff and landing J-20 stealth fighter, and it is a two-seat version. The fuselage has a huge lift fan, and two main engine tail nozzles can be pointed downward. Some jokingly call it a hybrid of the American F-35B and the Chinese J-20. Before I go further, please subscribe to my channel. To be honest, the development of a J-20 vertical takeoff and landing version is almost impossible because the basic J-20 design has been finalized for years, and even the latest variant of the J-20B only has a modified canopy and rear fuselage, which is unlikely to accommodate the huge lifting fan. In addition, the US F-35 has a vertical takeoff and landing version because the US Marine Corps is limited to amphibious assault ships and cannot use conventional takeoff and landing carrier-based fighters. In China, where the military divide is not as deep as it is in the United States, the Chinese can combine aircraft carriers with amphibious landing forces so that conventional fighter jets can serve the Marines directly. In fact, the F-35B is equipped with a lift fan that severely affects the amount of fuel and ammunition it can carry inside, which is not a good choice from a purely military perspective. In addition, the world's successful toll fighters are basically single-engine layouts, which include the French Mirage 3 variant, the British Harrier, the Soviet Yak-38 and Yak-141, and the F-35. Finally, after the trailer for The Wandering Earth 2 aired, viewers pointed out that the lift fan hatch on the J-20 was closed too early. The crew took this seriously enough that they quickly changed the animation in the full film to correct the mistake. This shows that the Wandering Earth 2 crew have a wonderful attitude about their work. I strongly encourage you to watch this film in cinemas. Thanks for watching. Again, please subscribe.